what was it that surprised you most about the process? Was there anything that you were particularly good at? Anything you were particularly poor at? Anything that you really had a tough? Is there a specific day that you remember thinking, "Oh, this is this is not what I was thinking"? To, to be brutally honest, I was pretty shit at most things. Depot isn't about becoming a pirate. It, it is because you're a paratrooper at the end of it. It's about surviving. It's a rite of passage at the end of that train. You go right. You nine are strong enough in the mind and in the body to now go and become a paratrooper. That's the way I see it. So I, I was I was just getting over the quality line every single time. I was so the the standard was was of me was probably really really poor. I mean it it wasn't. I'm, I'm obviously I made it. I was hitting the quality line, which is, and it's a quite high quality line to try and hit, but. I was crawling over the line. Um, the big thing that surprised me most was watching grown men break, physically break, mentally break down. They just could not do it. And they had a lot of life experience. So they understood fully what they was going into. Whereas I was very naive and had no idea what was happening. And seeing grown men break down twice your age, fully break down and just like, I can't do this anymore. My body won't let me do it. And I'm just like, it does. <laughs> keep going you know it's it's and only now what i know now is obviously it's changed a lot of my thinking i was there just surviving and i couldn't sustain that there was no sustainability in that you know at some point i was going to break um as everyone everyone has a break everyone has a breaking strain but it's um yeah it was just that that was the biggest surprise for me and i'd, I'd never seen it before because i've never really been around adults you know i'd only ever been around people my age i've, I've not got much family so it was only ever people my age that I'd seen. Then all of a sudden, I'm in these groups. I'm in sections of grown men, and I'm I'm literally just a boy. I was, I look at pictures now and I'm thinking, you know, I was literally. You look at someone now in school, and then that's me with these grown men doing exactly the same things with the same weight, the same times, carrying the same stretches, the same logs, up at the same time. I, mean, I had no hair on my face, none, not a single hair on my face, and it used to get me because one of the ways, um. They used to make me shave. They used to stand behind me and watch me scraping my skin. And nothing, there was nothing on that. But they knew it was... And now my neck's like, fucked because of it. But, and it's like, uh, that was one of the things I hated so much. But I was just like, there's no, I'm not going anywhere. So it was... But that was the biggest surprise for me, just watching grown men crumble. Uh, what, what's fascinating there is that their life experience, whilst on, on one side you could probably view it as something that's going to better equip them, for this maybe it gave them knowledge that actually the comfort that lies in ringing the bell the fact that maybe there's more to life that i can explore than this was actually a limiting factor for them and it meant that their emotions it was harder for them to bring their emotions back down to neutrality rather than letting them go haywire because i mean i can imagine there are hundreds of situations where you're you felt that surge in emotion you felt that surge in anger you felt that surge in fear and you managed to bring it back down to neutrality where you could just look at things objectively and move forwards because your why was strong enough. Whereas the more life experience and the more you've got outside of that moment, the more difficult it, the more difficult it's going to be to not let that that initial surge in emotion spiral out of control. So I think some of the, 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 what you said there is just it's, it's a way that we can look at things in our own lives because if you can try and learn to reframe your emotions and how you react to things when the going gets tough, when there's that surge in emotions, when you get an email that really pisses you off or whatever it might be. We can we can put it in, in in any lens. The more you can bring that back to, right, what is it that I'm looking at here and how do I move forwards, the more effective you can be as a soldier, as a leader, as an employee, as a father, whatever it might be. And I think, uh, yeah, you learned that lesson very, very young, which must have carried you forwards in many, many ways. Yeah, it's it's, it's taught me a lot that I'd, no, when I went and did my degree in coaching, a lot of it was psychology-based in, in, in learning all about reflection. And I, I vividly remember, excuse me, every single night thinking I'm still here. I'm still here. Like, how? I'm, like, still, I'm still here. It's another day down. One more day down. Like, tomorrow's another day. We go again. Was there any sense of pride? Were you feeling proud as you did it? Or was it just, it is what it is, another no, day? No, not in the moment. In the moment, there was so reflection in action. There wasn't, there wasn't any sort of, and even on action, there wasn't any sort of pride that I never felt good about anything. The one thing I did is when I went and passed P Company. So P Company is the physical test that everyone um, knows and refers the paras back to. It's a one week of tested. Arduous events, nothing we hadn't done before. But for everyone attached to the parachute regiment, P Company is the, 
be all and end all. It's the biggest thing for them. So they, they if you want to be attached to the powers, you've got to go and do P company. And people see it as like the pinnacle. And being brutally honest, P company and depot is the easiest week for the powers. It's our easiest week. Because all you've got to do is this is fitness, but we haven't got everything external to it. Um so when I passed that, I thought, right, and you basically get you've got a green backing on behind your cat badge. So you wear your very you've got the parachute regiment cat badge, but you wear a big massive green backing to make sure that you know you are not in yet. You've not made it yet. And you earn everything. So you're earning stuff at every step of the way. And so when you pass P coming, you get to take your green backing off. And that was that was the moment I thought, wow, I've 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 passed P company, like my god, I'm 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 gonna do it. I'm gonna pass this. I've got I've got you know two months left of training. That's the shit part. You think you're done, you, you and then all of a sudden they make you you get you go you deploy straight on something called the mole. It's called the mole, and all you do is go and dig for five days straight. No sleep, it's complete sleep debt, sleep deprivation, and all you've got to do is dig. And it just breaks people you think you they put you on this big high you've passed p company it's amazing you're physically amazing and then they go right now let's see how good your psychology is and i just remember being i remember, remember being on such a high that one moment i had this huge massive amount of pride and then all of a sudden i'm two days in digging thinking where's my life gone why am i here i'm what just a weak it? little mole <laughs> and then exactly and then you can see again grown men who've just worked so hard for 20 weeks got this got to this moment going what like you know what sack this get me out of this hole i'm done